Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here, and today I for you guys another video of Persona 5X here. Inside today's video, we're going to be talking about should you summon for the newest character here, aka the Blessed Medic being Marion or Minami here. So if you guys are interested in this video, be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy it here. We've been kind of spotty on our uploads. I've been really busy with either work or goddamn school stuff, but I think I have a little bit of leeway now. I'm hoping I do. So hopefully we can get back on into our regular schedule here. But um, we're we'll gonna be talking about this and we're gonna be seeing if she's actually really worth it. Now, for a lot of you guys who don't know who this is, Minami is a new unit that is a blessed healer here that is actually gonna be coming out tomorrow at 10 p.m. EST here. Now, this character is pretty interesting. She does work pretty dang well. She has a lot to at least her kit. I think I went over it a little bit ago, but we're also gonna be going over it in this video as well, where she actually can kind of contribute a decent bit to your team, right? She can end up having some nice recovery stacks of HP. She even can stack up some decent blesses that can allow you not only to cleanse elements here, but also heal multiple allies. And she does a decent bit of everything that you really want her to do to actually get up your entire team while also giving you some nice HP regen in general. Um, this character is pretty darn decent, I'm not gonna lie, but there are some pros and cons about this character. Now, of course, as we already know, we do have a healer in the team, or at least two healers already in the game here. Those healers being, of course, Morgana and Cattle. So we have a, already a Wind user as well, or Garu, and then we also already have a Agi-based um, character here, or a Fire-based character here. In which um both of these are pretty decent but we are missing or at least lacking in the blessed department as you do know we only have one blessed character here which is yuki so this will be our second blessed character that we end up getting now marin or minami is actually kind of interesting here right now i feel like we need more of a dps bless more than anything seeing that this is a defender bless as well and then we will have a healer bless but I mean, that's a different subject for a different time. But when it comes down to Marion, she's just a healer, right? Now, at the end of the day, we do need more healers. We only have two currently. And so having a third healer is not the bad thing. But the overall thing is, well, how will she be useful? Will do Should you summon in general? Now, I'm gonna make this short for you guys who are free to plays right here, right now. If you're free to play, right? I generally think don't summon. I genuinely think don't summon. And here's my reasonings why. She is a non-limited unit, so she's immediately going to the standard pretty much later on, um, right after her banner, right? So there's no real reason to get that. And then with the next units that we do know, we had Joker at the beginning, right? We've now had Joker, we're gonna have Yui, or at least we had Yui, and then we're now going to have Marion. Most likely we are getting another Phantom Idol or Phantom Thief in general um, that should be coming out soon. So I don't know exactly who it may be. It may be Yusuke, maybe a couple other people. I'm not gonna really touch on that, but um, I'm just gonna say it. We might have a new Phantom Idol coming in very, very soon. So seeing those guys are actually limited, uh, like time limited and things like that, you guys might wanna try and save up your currency. But that's just me speaking on the free to players like behalf there. That would be my decision there. Um, but. I'm gonna straight up be honest. If you're a meta chaser or a person who actually does the Velvet Room, for example, let's get into the nitty gritty about this character, right? So Velvet always changes each week. Same as the Yield Boss here with certain things. One of the main things, which I actually have not done in a long time, or at least in a little bit here, as you can see, I still have that at eight. Um, One of the main things here is this thing, right? This is specifically changing for the ranking boards. If you're a person who does this quite often, Dipping into Marion's banner actually may not be the worst thing ever, right? It could be actually what you want to do the most here. And that's mainly because you kind of want to keep up with the meta. You kind of want to go ahead and rank higher, things like that. And she will have a place with those said teams. Overall though, I feel like when it comes to this healer, everyone can kind of wait. And there's a tons of pros and cons with it, right? So what are her pros? She's an amazing actual healer. She, of course, has the regeneration that we do very well need here. She's able to increase actually max HP as well. And she's able to um, cleanse elements, not debuffs themselves, but elements so such as like burn, shock, things like that, right? She's able to cleanse those off, which is really, really nice. The only issue that I really don't like when it does come down to this character 
is with blessing stack right they they heal pretty decent but blessing stacks are kind of iffy um we see some of those with yuki as well where like a passive regeneration is really really nice but it could be better right now this is to say that she's actually meant for this unlike yuki who is a defender um minami is actually a healer so of course she's going to heal more but i do very well feel like it's just not worth using your currency on unless you are really heavy meta chasing um because of course when it comes down to the five star character either you're going to be pulling till you um get them and then pulling for a decent couple dupes on your four star weapon or either you're going to be pulling get the character most likely go for a dupe which could make the character a little bit better and then also um go ahead and invest into getting the five star weapon and all honesty the only people who are doing that are either people who are heavily simping or either the people who legitimately are wailing slash meta chasing. I'm just being honest with you. I'm not going to do it. I do want to try and get her probably once just to see if I can have her, but I am on 50 50 and I don't think I really want to spend for the nurse that badly. So, uh, yeah, I do got digress with that one, but, um, I wanted to do like a little quick little video on this mainly just because to give you guys a little bit of a feel when it comes down to the, should you summon parts of the O's here? Um, I generally think with her, she has too many, she has good pros, which is really nice of the healing, but the cons with this is at the end of the day, it's another healer, right? When it comes to the bless uh, like side of things, we don't really need a healer. Um, if anything, we need a DPS, especially for velvet room related things, right? Because of course, if we take a little bit of a dip into the velvet room, which I also haven't done this in a minute, right? Take a dip into um, one of the battles. One of these require bless, which um is really, really nice. But the issue is just like that nuke one there is we don't have a actual bless DPS. So who do we have to rely on doing these weaknesses? Wonder, right? Um, You do have, of course, some bless DPS type attacks here, but it's not really going to help you when you're really trying to proc this, right? Oh, but Blade, you could use the lightning, like you could use a lightning team, right? Well, okay, if we come along, and go further in right yeah sure we got these up here but i'm sorry even just keeping just one sustain but for these higher ones those little like characters who are not dps's are not going to help you break these dudes very easily and help you actually get past these dudes right so it's it's kind of one of those things where i feel like with this one we can deal without the healer if anything i feel like it'll be more uh, substantial for free to place and pay to wins to try to at least maybe save your uh, gems later on or save your gems in general to actually go ahead and invest into something even better rather than this but who am i to really talk too much it honestly comes down to you at the end of the day um overall message should you summon heck no um i really think just skip her uh she's gonna be in the regular banner anyway so no point in doing so um but yeah, that's my little piece on it. You guys can let me know what to think about it. I'm gonna try and come out with another video today. Hopefully, if I'm not busy, I do have a lot of things to do, or at least have some things to do as well today. But um, yeah, we're off of work, so we're gonna have some fun. Till then, everybody, stay safe, stay sharp, and stay determined. Peace.